In today's episode, a blue bean will roam the forest. A semi truck will roam in your living room. And a lawnmower will be roaming at high velocity. This has to be the fastest jack stand in the world. During a NASCAR race, it got stuck under the car after a pit stop, and the driver managed to do one lap at 150 miles per hour. And the jack stand? It did not move by an inch. The best part? The driver won that race. You can't blend onto the racetrack until you come out of turn number two. He's still trying to get rid of the jack. It's going down the back stretch. He's left side tires, also trying to make a chassis adjustment here for Joey Logano through the trioval. Logano wins at Talladega! While Formula 1 stops driving on some classic tracks for safety reasons, definitely not money, British superbikes drive on tracks that make them fly, quite literally. If you go fast enough on a specific turn in the Cattle Park racetrack, you can get some good air. Too quick to go up and not forward and eat. Whether he's locked in the top six, we get a bit, a bit of kind of typical British end. Oh, look at that! That's a shot, sorry Jack. Here is something super weird slash interesting. A active sound system for a Tesla. Basically, it is a speaker that imitates a petrol engine. Here is a lesson for pedestrians. We don't always see you, especially on a rainy night when you walk in front of a strong source of light. Here is a quick lesson that no matter how much grip you have or well tuned your car is, you cannot beat physics of weight distribution. You have probably seen some videos of people taking crazy things to the Nordschleife. But what about Rally? Well, this team from Japan took a Toyota Hiace van against Subarus and Mitsubishis. With the current gas prices, you need to be more responsible how often and with what you do burnouts. Everyone will have their first time. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about going to a top fuel dragster race. We know that cars with over 1000 horsepower need super thick tires to put down that power. This monster is one of them. Want to go off-roading, but you don't have a 4x4 monster with 500 inch tires and a 2 meter lift kit? No worries. All it takes is a blue beam, some speed and momentum. As corny as this may sound, if you recognize from what movie this is, you had a great childhood. Here is a perfect example of power versus traction and brain damage. Find yourself friends that will do beam and G stuff in real life. I don't want to make fun of stereotypes, but why is it always a Chinese lady in an expensive SUV?
When driving through school zones, you need to watch out for young shopping carts, as they tend to run on the road when their parents are not looking. I've seen some big transport vehicles marked as oversized or special, but I've never seen something marked as abnormal. Maybe it was your mom's Uber. If Porsche is good at something, then it's a launch control. Oh, and paired with a Ekrapovic exhaust, it is also good at making sounds that excite car guys. This guy turned a Miata into a monster Miata, inspired by the no f**ks given Miata. <laughs> This is rhyming. On the first glance, it reminds me of a radio-controlled truck. To cover up the massive wheels, the owner had to buy 5 gallons of Bondo, a body filler material. Love it or hate it, I think we need more crazy projects like this, because why not? This guy was racing his V8 Miata when something weird happened. Due to the way how the LS3 engine works, it is possible to run it backwards for a short period of time. A detailed explanation would take me 3 weeks, but here is a comment explaining why this could have happened. If humans are becoming so lazy to the point of ordering food to their homes, does this mean we will soon stop going to the grocery store? But what about our pets? How will they get their food? Well, this guy had an idea. I am so glad that young men out there are more responsible with their money now that there is a gas crisis. In these times, you need a car that is fuel efficient, such as this thing. The BMW 3.5 CSL is one of the most, if not the most, beautiful racing car out there. Built for Group 5 racing, it also won a few races. It's basically the Charles Leclerc of racing cars. Fast and good looking. You think doing wheelies on your scooter is impressive? What about doing it in a car? I am not usually into red rod stuff, but this bike changed my mind. It is so raw and simple, exactly the way I like it. The only concern I would have is safety, especially with the exposed flywheel. Here is a video that perfectly shows the speed difference between a Hayabusa and a Harley Davidson. I'm kind of surprised how fast the Harley was at the start. I will never understand the desire of slamming your car to the ground, but I respect it, I mean it. If you want to spend 5 minutes leaving your driveway, it's your choice. I guess it's a small price to pay for those nice static shots on Instagram. Do you like that M1 Abrams turbine engine startup sound? Just straight pipe your turbo diesel. It sounds almost identical. I 
I'm no expert engineer, but I would guess that the purpose of having a dually truck, which is a truck with dual rear wheels in the back, is to be able to tow bigger loads and have more traction. But there is another secret use for them. Smoke generators. More tires to burn equals more smoke. Who would win? A custom Nissan 350Z or a Mercedes E55 AMG pulling a trailer? I don't really care. What's more interesting is that this lawnmower is having the time of his life. Once again, I do respect old builds and styles, even if your car is so low it sounds like a mobile metal workshop. If you ever see an old Volvo on the dyno, you can be sure that it's probably not stock, despite the looks. If you ever wondered how drag racing a tractor looks from the first perspective, there you go. I'm no expert, but if this guy is steering with the front wheels in the air, there must be some sort of rear wheel steering system, right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and if you want more, check out my second channel. Have a nice day. That doesn't make sense.